Speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves and for the rights of the destitute. Speak up and judge fairly. Defend the rights of the poor and needy. Proverb 31, 8, 9. Every human being has a right to thought, conscience and religion. This means he has a right to a life of his own choice with basic education and a job without discrimination. He also has the right to a dignified and decent life to help develop his human personality. Globally, the need for the protection of human rights has been felt from ancient times. But the United Nations first recognized this right in the year 1945. In the year 1948, a comprehensive body of human rights law was adopted by the United Nations General Assembly. This was done on the 10th of December 1948. Hence, this day has been, is being observed as the Human Rights Day. This day is a reminder for us that we have to take action in our daily lives to uphold the rights that protect us. This day is observed with conferences, meetings, exhibitions and awards. In India, we celebrate or observe this day to proclaim all the, ent all the entitlements and tell that people are entitled in order to have the rights of his basic needs. Human rights is divided into two, the civil and political rights and the socio-economic and cultural rights. According to the civil and political right, everybody has got equality without discrimination. They have the right to live a humane life without torture and also the right for a fair trial, for fair and free speech and thought. They also have the right to choose a religion and faith of their own choice. The socio-economic and cultural rights gives a person the right in his workspace. This is a basic right where man and women have got equal pay and have got the chance to form any trade union. They also have the right to have social security in old age and unemployment. He also has the ability or the right to marry a person of his own choice and to get health care when required. All human beings also have the right to choose their own culture, cultural life. Roman 2.11 says that God shows no personality, partiality. And Proverbs 22.2 says that the rich and poor meet together and the Lord is the maker of them all. So let's join and celebrate freedom, equality and human dignity through the observance of Human Rights Day. Thank you.